On this week's episode, we're talking about Patti LaBelle's new album. And Michaela Angela Davis has a new docuseries coming out. All that and more coming right up. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. Here to catch up and report on Mariah Carey news yes. of the week. All the tidbits, all the little bits of information. We got good things to talk about. Good things. Good Mariah adjacent things. As well, I yes. know, I know. Good and things. I think, yes, I think one of the big ones that we skipped over, because again, yeah, once the global citizens started happening, it was chaos and mayhem over here. <laughs> so we had to, <laughs> some things got, you know, left aside. But I think we should talk about something exciting coming up because something that um, caught my attention and everybody else's attention, I guess, was that Patti LaBelle was on CBS Mornings with Gail King. Yes, one of my favorite favorite, favorite, shows. (laughs) My favorite morning show. I watch it every day. Uh, So she was on there and she revealed that she has a new album coming out, TBD when exactly. But she said that Mariah is going to be on it with her. That's amazing. I know, I I'm know. I'm excited for that. Do you think it's going to be a new song or is she going to give us like a live version mm. of stuff we heard? Interesting. You know, I I, you, I think it's been a long time since Patti LaBelle has had an album out. Um, yes. So I wonder if this is going to be maybe where, you know how Tony Bennett, how he, he would do his albums, like, and Mariah did that When the Bells Ring For Me song. Yeah, maybe it's yes. going to be something like that, where like she, uh, Patty will duet her old songs with new, newer uh, artists or younger artists. Like that would be cute. That would be cute. I'd be down for that. I mean, listen, that iconic performance um, that they did at Hammerstein Ballroom. Uh, what's the name of it? Why am I forgetting it? Got to be real. That's the one, um, honey. That I live on that all the time. So if they did something like that, where they just duetted an old Patty song, uh, mm-hmm. sign me up immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so also Jasmine Sullivan is supposed to be on it too. Oh, yes. The album. Ooh. So it sounds like a good album. Yes. I mean, it goes, of course, it goes perfectly with what Mariah was saying a few weeks ago, where she's working on a couple of different things. So, some things mm. with legendary artists, some things with newer artists. I mm-hmm. didn't say what they were for, so... Uh, here, right here we know here we have it okay that's a clue yeah and it, it'll be good to have them on like an actual like legit song together mm-hmm. because you know a recording um because you it, it, patty a little bit fairy godmother yes yes we love patty yes honey we've had many patty moments everything patty oh, is great oh everything everything yeah uh-huh. um i remember i i don't know was it cribs or something where um, I think it was Cribs where they did Patty LaBelle's crib and there was like a picture of Mariah like on the little coffee table or something. So like, oh, love. Yes. Love all of it. There's also uh, Patty LaBelle cooking videos on YouTube and she's giving a <laughs> cooking demonstration and there's pictures of Mariah on the kitchen counter. Yes, yes. <laughs> but now you have reminded me of the funniest, funniest Patty moment <laughs> that I, I will never <laughs> not laugh <laughs> Eddie LaBelle on the Cyberbank show. <laughs> when she was cooking the cupcakes. <laughs> I mean, oh, I just can't, I can't stop laughing about that because it is so iconic and it gets me every time, like every time I see it or even think of it. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> Oh, Lord, Patty. Oh, she's a character. I love her. She is. Her verses was really good, too. When she did the verses a couple of years oh, ago, yes. last year. Oh, yes, that was good. That was really good. Yeah. And her apparently her patty pies. Honey, don't get this delicious patty pies. I've never had one, but they went viral. I've tried it. You did? Is that they're actually really good. It's really good. Well, I believe it. Honey. Yes. Oh, man. Remember years ago when she had that viral patty pie guy? doing um oh doing that that was oh that was a good moment that was a good moment that that's what put the pie on the map oh for guy. sure absolutely mm-hmm. gosh how long ago was that that was a while ago <sighs> the old world old what world. was that i bet like five six years ago now i would say maybe even more maybe 10 think? eight to ten 
would be my no. guess. We're not going to Google it, but no, 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 no. We're just, we don't have time for that. <laughs> but it was pre-pandemic it was at some point. Pandemic, and I, I think it was like even really before a lot of things were popping off. I think it was in the early days of like viralness, you know, right. or influencing. Yes. You know, it was yes. like in the early days of that. Uh huh. But honey, please, it was so good. Oh my god! But now I have to go watch that Patty on, on Tyra. It's a classic. If you guys don't know, just Google it. It's hysterical. It never gets old. Never. And then when you're done with the Tyra video, go Google Patty Labelle cooking brisket and just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about that before on the show way back in the early days of this uh, podcast. Oh, my God. Yes. Patty gives everything. She gives moments. <laughs> she gives. Yes. Where are my backup singers? <laughs> oh, iconic. Iconic, iconic. television. It's, <laughs> honey. Oh, so it's so great. She's hysterical. She's great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh, uh bring, well, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds exciting. Bring on more Mariah and Patty any day, all day. And let's also not forget the time that Mariah, um, paid tribute to Patty LaBelle at the Essence Awards, where she's saying, um, somewhere over the rainbow. And if only you knew, oh, mm-hmm. one of my favorites, one of my absolute mm-hmm. favorites. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. God. What if they did that? What if they duetted? If only you know, if only you knew. Oh, over the rainbow. <laughs> Please see. I, no, no, see. I want a Mariah over the rainbow, like her version of okay, it. Okay, well, true, but like I'll take whatever. Because Patty's is good, but that's Patty's version. I want a Mariah yeah. Carey version. But of Mariah over the rainbow. killed it, though. That oh, I need you. Know, she killed it. Yeah, yeah, but she did Patty's version. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, because it was a, a Patty tribute, but that's good. You know what I need though? You will talk about mm. these YouTube videos being HD'd and upgraded and 4K'd. I need that mm. because the only mm. the only place you can find that is on YouTube, and it is in such poor quality that, like, oh my god! If I remember watching that, I had it on the VHS, girl, and I think what I, what the the main one that's girl. <laughs> Yes, I am that old. <laughs> I had it on the VHS. Um, I think that version that's uploaded on YouTube is from VHS. So, like, we need a full Probably. redigitation, redigitationizing of that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whatever that means. We do, need, we do, we do, we do. Since we got the machine now that yes. does that, let's just run things in it. Honey, somebody, please, please, I'm begging because I love that. Uh-huh. So, yes. All right. Yes. So, we have great Patty moments coming with Mariah. We do. But, Dan, before we get into the next topic, uh, we need to do a shout-out to four Apple Podcast reviews. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. It helps the show grow. We've been slacking on it. Like, I know it's sort of our fault too. But if you guys listening, if you enjoy the show, it makes a huge difference if you go over to your Apple Podcast app or the, or the desktop version of Apple Podcast. Go type in the Mariah Report, scroll down, and you'll see a review section. Please type in a review if you like the show, because it actually really does help the show grow. Yes. Helps with the charts. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think people don't really know this, but we're always bubbling under the music chart. We're on the music commentary chart. And so with a bunch of reviews, recommend the show to your friends to get some more listeners. It will bump us back up to the music chart. And yeah, it's just good for the overall business. I was looking at the charts like maybe a week or two ago and the music commentary charts, we were up there. Up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're bubbling under. Like we we need, but once we get to the... We were high on the list. That's what I'm saying. I I think we were high on the list. Yes, yes. But That's once good. we get to the top of the music commentary chart, we get bumped onto the main music chart. Oh, okay. That's, right. that's why we need those reviews it, popping. It's sort of like, you know, like um, like the, the billboard charts. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> we're, on this, we're on the bootleg chart. <laughs> Listen, I, I think music commentary is like a big category, is it not? If we're doing top 40 no, yeah, yeah. that, then we're, honey, we're good. But we still need the reviews. Right. But it'd be fun to be up in the main chart because you can't see the music commentary chart on the apps. That's the thing. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, well, then F that. That's why we need the reviews okay, to get so up on get the apps. The, you know what I mean? Let's get the stars <laughs> and the reviews coming. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Good, good. Also, um, if you're a Patreon member, go, um, check out the 
blog, the Patreon blog at patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Because next week we're going to do a live recording of the Mariah Report and you get to join in, be in the virtual audience for the session. Um, so details on that coming soon. And if you want to join in, link it in the description. Sign up, five bucks a month, cancel anytime. No strings, nothing weird, no, no games, um, but it supports me and Dan and the show keeps the things running, you know, the inflation around here. Ah, uh, in these streets. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, help us out. Yeah. Either fun, way. Fun lamb moments over there. And, you know. Exactly, and exactly. talk about so, all kinds yeah. of crazy antics that, uh, that happen. So, yeah, good times. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, if you want to help us for free, Apple Podcast Review, you got a few coins, head over to Patreon. Boom and Please. boom. One or the yes. other. And we're also on YouTube. Don't forget that. You know, you, you all want to see us over there. You can uh, uh, click the likes and comments. We get some good comments over there. People be people be cracking me up. So I love it. I know. We do have good comments over there on yeah. YouTube. Um, One of these oh, yeah. That's subscribe. Yes. We should let's read them. Let's read some of these comments because these people. <laughs> Actually, I maybe while it. we're talking, we can pull some up towards the end. We'll read some of those YouTube comments as well. Um, okay. So next... Mariah adjacent story is friend to the show. We love her. You all know her, Michaela Angela Davis, co-author of the Meaning of Mariah Carey. She has a new um, docu series coming out on Hulu slash own the Oprah Winfrey Network. Yes, and I am so excited about it. I you Same. know I knew that this was this project had been in the works for a while, um, but I had not seen the trailer for it. I didn't know exactly when it was coming out until the other day because you know over here in Los Angeles, they love a billboard. Oh, they mm -hmm. would just put a billboard is everywhere, and there was a hair tails billboard right right there in Hollywood, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh my god, look at that! Oh, that's coming uh, that's coming out this weekend. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm yes. so ready. And then I uh -huh. immediately went home and watched the trailer for it, which I had not seen. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, this is good. Oh, this is going to be good. It has everyone you want. Michaela Angela mm -hmm. Davis obviously is in there, but Oprah's in there. Tracy mm -hmm. Ellis Ross, all kinds, yes. all, all the girls are in there. All the girls. Right. And it, but it looks really well done and the stories look really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it came across my timeline today too. So I clicked on the trailer. And it looks amazing. It looks so well done. Yeah. So that's the homework of the week. Watch yeah, uh, <laughs> Hair Tales because we're going to be discussing. I am ready. It is going to be my uh -huh. weekend viewing. Now, I don't know if they're dropping all the episodes all at once or if it's going to mm -hmm. be like a, a week thing. Because I think there's like, I think four or six episodes. I can't, I can't remember. Right. But multiple right. episodes. Uh, so I cannot wait, girl. Cannot wait. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for Same, that. same. Yeah, I love you know, support there. Michaela. Yes, of course. And um, not only that, just in what, two short weeks, the um, the Princess Christmas Princess is coming out, which she also wrote. Right. Exactly. So she's busy. Busy, busy. And do you know, it's also, um, remember how when the Mania Mariah Carey came out, then the translations started coming out afterwards? Mm -hmm. I think all the translations are ready for the Christmas Princess. Oh, that's good. All at once. They got yeah. a little ahead of the game this time. They did. I'm sort of excited for the little Christmas princess. Yes, I not know. Like I know. It, not like majorly excited, but like I really want to see what, what it is and, and the story of it. I wonder if they're going to pull um, like real life Little Mariah stories or is this more fictional made up Little Mariah stories? I think it will be like a combo plate. But uh -huh. I think it's also going to be a continuing thing. This little Mariah, I think they're going to do a series of books based on little mm. Mariah. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much content, so many stories you could tell. This might True. just be like the first one, but we'll see. Do you think I have, little, I have no idea. Do you think little Mariah lives on Long Island? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Or like, you know, a made up Long Island. She lives on like, you know, short Island or something. <laughs> That'd be cute. <laughs> yeah, something like that, you know. So we'll see. But I, I want to see what it is. I want to see all the, you know, illustrations. And, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be a little um, great book for all the all the youngsters out there. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Probably targeted at, like, Rock and Rose age. Yeah, absolutely. Tweens. For sure. You know, you know, like, 
Yeah, tweens. Tween. Tweens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know where I want to see it, though? Which we never saw the meaning of Mariah Carey at. I want to see it at the Target. I want to see it at the Target. I want to see it on, like, all those things because a lot of people be shopping over at Target. A lot of people. That's where the tweens are at. That's where the tweens go shopping. Yes. I think they have, like, a whole tween section. (laughs) (laughs) But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, I better see the little Christmas princess at the Target because people will buy it if it's there. You know how they always make you buy stuff that you don't even think that you want at the Target? Yes. Like, yes. they like do that. And so they somehow you, people will buy it. Put it at the Target. Yes, I agree. But remember, we had Target issues with Falling in Love at Christmas. Did we? Remember, it was never at Target. We kept think, checking the targets. Oh, that's because they didn't send out enough of them, probably. Wasn't I mean, something else supposed to be at Target and we never saw it there? The book. The book was never at Target. I'm that's like, what I mean. We've got every issues with Target. person has their book at Target except for Mariah. All these right. people who I've never seen their faces before in my life are on the bookshelf at the Target except for Mariah. Yes. Like, why right. haven't they put her there? And then I was thinking, like, once the paperback came out, it would be at the Target. I don't know why I'm so upset about it. I just am. (laughs) Missed sales. (laughs) Because people would buy it. Yes, I know. My goodness. Like, I don't know. I feel like they did not do enough promotion for that book. I mean, I know it's number one, instant number one bestseller, all that. But, like, where's the follow-up? Like, there no promotion for the paperback? You couldn't even put it in Target. Right. Get out of here. Yeah, do you remember also the Barnes & Noble was a struggle? It was. To get it. It's very struggle-ish. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't appreciate it. It's a struggle out here. <laughs> Come on now. So I want to walk into these shops and there's the Mariah Carey on the shelf. Exactly. For my eyeballs to look at. Right. You shouldn't have to be digging around for it and then displaying <laughs> it throughout the whole store because you know how this goes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, no. So I don't want that for the little Christmas princess. I don't want that. No. I want it out. Well, like I everywhere. mentioned, the translation is ahead. So maybe they're ahead of the head of the game this time. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I mean, it got announced in February, so <laughs> <laughs> is that enough lead time to get it on the target shelf? Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, speaking of Christmas. Mariah is out here again telling us it it is not time yet for the Christmas holiday moments. It's too soon. She's she's back at it in the, in the, what do you call that? I was going to say jacuzzi, but it's just the regular bathtub for her, right? The good old bathtub. Oh, it looks very luxurious. So she posted a series of um, photos, videos on the um, socials. And Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I saw it first on Twitter. So on Twitter, because I didn't know if it was it on the TikTok. Probably. It was on Instagram. Probably Instagram, on TikTok too. Probably TikTok too. Um, but the first one where it was just the the jacuzzi bubble bath with the red dress. Yes. I think that red dress is the red dress from last year. Remember last oh. year's? Last year's was actually really good where she was beating up the pumpkins. That was good. In the red dress. That was the best thing. That was a cute one. Of that whole situation. <laughs> that was cute, though. Nope. It was cute. And then she did that other thing um, with um, Winifred Sanderson from the Hocus Pocus Girls. Yes. That was yes. cute. That was a cute That was cute, too. Moment. This one's cute, too, but, like, you know, I like the pumpkin smashing one. So she posted that one, and then she posted the video of her in the bathtub and Rocky talking about they want to listen to all i want mm-hmm. cute cute so she's you know i guess like this is how she kicks off the season yeah. by saying not yet now oh it's become a tradition not yet it has. It's like now it's like a, a, an official like traditional hashtag for uh the the beginning of the season it's like the pre-season because it's not right. the season yet well, I guess that well, we know what happens now is that she's just going to keep doing that, and now we get into Christmas season. We're here already, basically. Yeah. It's Christmas. But I think that's the thing. Like in October, everybody like is like Halloweeny, and then like November, November first, it's like officially Christmas season, and maybe that's why she's releasing the Christmas Princess on November first. Yes. So. Don't forget, around the world, other countries outside of America 
there is no Thanksgiving and Halloween. So right. you, you just go straight to Christmas. Well, and most of us lambs do the same, no matter where we are. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Straight into Christmas. <laughs> Um, Actually, speaking of Christmas, so I was at the gym today and I was playing the um, Spotify playlist written by Mariah. Uh huh. So I'm just like going through it. It's playing. Oh, Holy Night starts playing. Oh, and really? I was like, wait, did she? she I was like, she, she didn't write this write one, did this? she? Well, I mean, she definitely did not write it, but I do. Think it made it in the list. I yeah. Well, someone over there at Spotify ain't doing it right, but. Um, I will say her version is definitely like the version I think that most people recognize, you know, at yes. least from, you know, our generation and under. Well, now I have to investigate the credits. I wonder if maybe she rearranged the lyrics or did something to him to get her, oh. get that on the list. Maybe, or maybe someone at Spotify doesn't know. Screwed up. That. That's a classic song at this point. But <laughs> like I say, once Mariah covers a song, it's hers, basically. It's hers. Like, I know. Not, I know. Like the original, who cares at this point? Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, without you, uh, that's a Mariah song. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, yes. You know, uh-huh. open you know, arms. It's like, it's a Mariah song. You know, it's n- n- clearly not. But either way, but that's cute. You know, speaking of Oh Holy Night, RuPaul was tweeting a playlist that uh, he listens to. And Oh Holy Night was on there. It's like, it wasn't a Christmas playlist. It was just like songs that like, you know, make him happy or like, like this is like his go-to like playlist. And Oh Holy uh-huh. Night or like classic like songs or something. I forget what the playlist was, but Oh Holy Night was on there. And I was like, all right, Rue. Well, here's the thing. At the gym, it starts playing. I just let it run. I played. Oh, of course. <laughs> I did Oh Holy Night. You know, I, I was listening, you know, I always put my music on shuffle and, you know, um, the song from last year, Fall in Love at Christmas, the That's remix came on. And I was like, oh, oh. you know what? I'm going to listen to this. I haven't heard it in a mm-hmm. minute. And it's actually really good. Those remixes it is are, good. are good. I enjoyed those. I like I the original like, too. I like- oh, I like, oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> that song is nostalgic to me already because it reminds me of my first LA Christmas. Mm-hmm. So like that not freezing cold Christmas. Yes, yes, it's true. Yeah, and the whole was yeah that was the the McDonald's Christmas year. Last the McDonald's. year's Christmas was wild. She that was a good Christmas, honey. She would not sit down. Yes, I loved it all. I loved it all though. Loved all it. of it. Well, I mean, okay, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> the traumatic parts we forget about those and we move on <laughs> and she did look right. very beautiful in the apple special the apple mm-hmm. i don't know what we want to call that the, it wasn't a special the the apple mini um mini content mini content <laughs> moment a mini content moment <laughs> she looked great and that new version of christmas baby please come home was good Mm-hmm. We don't have it on streaming. You know what, though? I was also, I've been listening to a lot of Mariah Christmas now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> because the other day, also coming up randomly, was the original Christmas special. You know how she re recorded? I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she re recorded the whole thing. I was like, yes. this is the joy to the world. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Really good. <laughs> yes, yes. I almost played Sleigh Bells the other day, but I was like, no. I, I was like, no, not yet. Oh, but I almost pushed play on it. Oh, see, whenever the Sleigh Bells comes on, I'm always jamming because that is so good. So that comes on quite often. So I'm used to that one popping up in my shuffle. But <laughs> I was like, oh, you know what? This is good. Great vocals. Mm-hmm. Love it all. I was like, oh, but we didn't get that for the second Christmas special. So we never, like, you know, like the sleigh bells, the whole new versions of everything she did for the first Christmas special. Mm-hmm. We got all that on streaming. We didn't get that new version of Christmas Baby Please Come Home, which is super cute. I want that on streaming. I well, good luck. luck now. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Getting that. Especially now with the, you know, the Queen of Christmas debacle. Oh, I know, right? Wasn't mm-hmm. wasn't um what's her name speaking out on that again? 
again. Yes, yes. But you know what? She's elderly. Let's just leave her alone. I know. It's like arguing with your grandma. Just let her be. It is. Like, you, just, it's not going to, you're not going to uh, get through. Yeah, we're not, nobody, it's, let's just let it, let it be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Let's um, get you back to bed. Yeah. Honey, take your pills. G- yeah, take Everything's going to be fine. Take your pills. Sip your soup. Yes. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's not be getting bent out of shape. Yeah, there's there's no problems. Um, but anyways, so we do. I mean, here we go. Christmas season is coming. I know Mariah says not yet, but it's coming. It's here. Well, here in New York, we're in full um, Halloween mode right now. But I'm I am seeing decorations getting sold on the shelves oh yes i was um running through the target earlier today actually and they were you know they always have that seasonal section where like you know during Mm -hmm. the summertime it's like flowers and like flower pots and then like right um for halloween it's like halloween candy and stuff oh all of the halloween is already gone Uh and now they're, they're they're they were like literally like changing it to all christmas stuff today already today yes well, they haven't been listening to Mariah's Instagram page because she says no. Not yet. So they don't listen. Well, to- I guess well Target does whatever the they want, apparently. I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, uh, so that's what we got from Mariah this time around. Now, last week we were talking about all of the fashions that Mariah was serving because she was serving looks. And yes. we did an unofficial poll on um, the social medias about um, some of the looks because Mariah was, um, what are they called? Recycling. Uh, some Upcycling. One, upcycling. Upcycling. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. she wore that Louis Vuitton long t-shirt slash dress again. And yes. we loved it. Everybody loved it the first time she wore it to the brunch. The, it's well, cute. It's so cute. But now she wore it this time with the long coat and the bare legs. So we did an unofficial mm-hmm. poll over there on Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot to see what everybody liked better. Because at like, the Mariah Report. Yes, at the Mariah Report. You can find all that. And the 2022 version won by a landslide. A landslide, I know. A landslide. It was like 75%, if not more. Um, I think we like seeing emancipated legs. Oh, I think that's what it is. I I mean, it just goes to show how the styling of any outfit goes a long way. From the hair Mm -hmm. to the legs to Mm -hmm. the accessories, everything. Like in 2022, Mm -hmm. we had the bare legs, we had the sunglasses. Well, we had sunglasses in the first one. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know, but a lot of people love 22. I think I'm a 2022 version as well. But then I was thinking about it. And Mariah Mm -hmm. upcycles a lot of her ensembles. Well, we need that because those things are expensive and they take a lot of resources to make in general. Yes, of course, of course. That's why she needs to stop wearing them in the, in the chlorinated swimming pools and, and use them. them. <laughs> yes. But I was thinking randomly, I was like, Mariah's, you know, she's upcycled a bunch of outfits over the years, which I love because if I think about it, the second time she wears it is always better. Like, I don't have the official confirmation on that, but I just, (laughs) (laughs) we might have to do another unofficial poll, but like, you know, I, I've seen her in a couple of ensembles. Like, remember when she wore that one dress backwards? Um, Yes. That was a good one. Like that, again, the second time she wore it was so good. Or like there've been a couple of like simple slip dresses that she's worn, um, Mm -hmm. where like the second time she's worn them, the hair was better. You know, mm-hmm. or just like the whole styling of it was better. And I'm like, Mariah is always like, she's giving it to us. And then when she gives it to us the second time, now she's gagging us. A little remix. You know what remix. I mean? It's like, yes. oh, now she's gagging us with it. So mm-hmm. I love it. Keep it up, Mariah. Mm-hmm. I say keep it up because she looks fabulous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. 
Yeah, same. We need more fashions leaving the apartment fashion moments. Yeah, please keep them up. I don't know where she. I don't know where she is right now. Still over there in New York. She ain't been out. I'm fine. I'm fine with her here in New York. Christmas is coming. This is the city to be in. I know. I know. It's her city. I know. Well, we we hopefully will get some Christmas moments from her. Some concert moments. You think? I think if we were doing some sort of concert situation, we would know by now. Mm. Yeah. True. Tickets would be on sale. Don't you think? Yeah. There'd be at least a rumor in the street. Yeah. I don't know, because it's not but, yet. We might have to look and see what the availability is at the beacon. Look at their December calendar and see who's booked yeah. and who isn't. What days are open. <laughs> is there a weekend open in there that hasn't been announced yet? But didn't we theorize that she might be going to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup? Oh, oh yes, we did theorize that. Maybe that's taking up all her energy. Yeah, she's gearing up for that. We shall see, we shall see. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Things are right around the corner, but not yet. So, of course, we will be full time reporting uh, this Christmas season. We will be busy, busy, busy. I'm sure. Well, you know when Mariah does these not yet videos, that's just the beginning. So stuff is going to start rolling out. Yes, any day now. It's. I feel like we're always saying this. Oh, it's coming. since February. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming, and nothing comes. I think we've been saying this like every week since Feb. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or March or whenever. Pretty much. <laughs> Too much. But anyways, um, so I think that pretty much is, wraps up what Mariah's been up to this week. Um, yes, in the it news does. And whatnot. But uh, again, we'll be back next week reporting. Hopefully we'll uh, have more. Not yet. Or maybe yet. Maybe something will happen. Next week will be... Um... The end of October, so we must know something at least. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll get like a Halloween costume moment from Mariah this year. She loves a Halloween costume moment. She does. She does. So let's keep a lookout for that. Most definitely. Uh, don't forget, we would love your support for this podcast. You can do that by leaving the Apple Podcast Review. You can even hit five stars on Spotify or join our Patreon. Link is in the description. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.